when we spot any elephants, the, there will be one lead vehicle doing spotlighting and they will uh, try and spot those uh, elephants. We will be behind those vehicles. We switch off our, our spotlights, let them handle it. On normal occasion, we continue our drive, find a safe space to, to uh, park and then the drug team will go in and drug the elephant first. Uh, never, never at any one time leave the vehicle unless you, are, you get, get uh, permission to do it. This week we did uh, five nights of uh, looking for elephants and we collared two bulls, one young bull and one uh, big bull. And this has been like this last uh, month and a half. Yesterday we went to we went to the road that connects uh, in Greek with uh, Jelly. It's it's a road that bisects a big uh, forest area. There's a big patch of forest in the north and one in the south. And we're trying to find an elephant to deploy a GPS collar to study the movement. We want to see how the road affects the movement of elephants in this landscape. This is part master plan from the Malaysian government that is called the Central Forest Spine in which they're trying to increase connectivity in this kind of situation. So when you have a patch of forest, another patch of forest, and some barrier in between, trying to see how to connect them. In this particular place, they are planning to build a viaduct, a fauna viaduct, so animals can cross uh, below the, the road. So we want to understand elephant movements before the viaduct is built. I think Mark mentioned he's so good. So who is uh, going? Video? You want to go in the car? Well, they haven't gone too far, but we don't know anything else. So now they are they're the ones who are assuming that the elephants will come back, but it's very much an assumption. Several people spotted one elephant. And the idea was that probably was a family, because we have seen a family there several times. But actually no one saw more than one. So then the elephant disappeared quite quickly, and I suspect might be a solitary animal, because otherwise it would be easier to find them. We didn't hear feeding sounds, we didn't see footprints. We saw a lot of dung, very recent dung, but, but probably that was just a, one, one elephant. And what do these collars tell you? The, the first thing is you know, how elephants move in the landscape. And in the context of this landscape is how they move in relation to the road. Whether the road is a barrier, they are able to cross the road. And, you know, whether they avoid it altogether or they choose to be close to the road for some reason. The ratio of a success with coloring is very low and it's, it's, it's part of the deal with no, no, by no means. It's disappointing. We were out all night last night. Or all day and all night. All day and all <laughs> yes, night. Yes, yes. And we had one glimpse of an elephant. Yes. Is, is that the way it normally is? Yes. I personally don't care too much about seeing the elephant or not. I mean, it's, it depends on, on the objective of the work. So yesterday's work was calling elephants, so then uh, yeah, it was normal. We saw one, we, we didn't get it, but that, that, that's fine. But most of our work, we never see elephants. We don't even try to see them. 